Bob er på vej ind i Oakland Cannabis Buyers Club. Det er en klub, hvor man kan købe cannabis på visse betingelser. Bobs læge anbefaler ham at bruge marihuana, og han kan derfor i lighed med de 1200 andre medlemmer af klubben købe marihuana til medicinsk brug. Formelt er den trafik ulovlig, for enhver form for omgang med marihuana er strengt forbudt i USA. Men politiet og bystyret i Oakland har igennem to år stiltigende accepteret klubben. When I was a kid, I got hit in the eye and it developed and developed and other things. So as I got older, the pressure in my eye uh, increased, so I was diagnosed with glaucoma. So instead of wearing thick glasses, uh, I smoked pot, and it kept the pressure down within normal limits. It doesn't alleviate it, but it keeps it down. Uh, I would pick an A for this. Okay. Professor Lester Grinspoon mener, at det vil gå med marihuana på samme måde som med penicillin. Penicillin blev fundet i 20'erne, men lægerne og medicinalindustrien var ret uinteresseret. Først 12 år senere skete der noget. In 1941, two investigators look at penicillin to take this, this uh, uh, down from the shelf, so to speak, and look at it. And they studied it in just six patients, who had a variety of... Uh, of infectious disease caused by a couple of different mi microbes and found it to be remarkably effective. Now, you know, that is really uh, anecdotal evidence, but it led to penicillin becoming known as a wonder drug of the 40s. Now, why was it a wonder drug? Uh, one, because it's remarkably non-toxic. People are going to take a lot of penicillin and not get into difficulty. Similarly with marijuana. It's remarkably non-toxic. There has never been, I could not find in my studies, a documented case of a death from marijuana. That's a remarkable statement. Secondly, uh, penicillin was, once it was produced on an economy of scale, very inexpensive. Marijuana, once it is freed of the prohibition tariff, will be remarkably inexpensive. I den seneste udgave af Grinspoons bog, Den forbudte medicin, oplistes der 35 sygdomme og symptomer, hvor marihuana synes at have en gavnlig effekt. Så også på det punkt kan marihuana sammenlignes med penicillin, der jo netop er karakteristisk ved at være virksom over for mange forskellige sygdomme. The fact is that when cannabis re regains the place it lost in the, in the US pharmacopoeia, a place it lost in 1941, it will be among the least toxic substances in that whole compendium, one of the least expensive medicines, and one of the most useful.